Hi, I'm Samantha McDouglas from thebridgeteachers.com, and today I have a defensive quiz for you. As with any of my quizzes, when I ask you a question or you need a moment to think, pause the video and take some time to think about the answer. When you're ready, unpause the video and hear the next piece of the puzzle. All right, let's look at the hand. So a little background before we dive into the question. The contract is three no trump in the West. The declaring side West has taken five tricks and we have taken four tricks. In order to make their contract, the declarer needs to take the remaining four tricks. If we can take just one trick, we will set this contract. Declarer has won the trick with the king of clubs and is now going to be leading from dummy. So here's your quiz. When declarer leads the ace of clubs, what should you play? Take a moment, pause the video, and think about your answer. You should play the Ace of Hearts. So how do we come to this? Because it seems like the Ace of Hearts is a good card. And if we throw the Ace of Hearts, the King of Hearts will become good. So why would we throw away the Ace of Hearts? So there are a couple of questions you want to think about. The first is, which hand is Declarer leading from? Well, Declarer is leading from dummy, and Declarer actually won't be able to come off dummy. In other words, Declarer won't ever be able to win a trick in their hand to lead a card in their hand because they don't have anything in dummy that they can win in their hand. We know this because we can see the ace of diamonds, the ace of the king of diamonds, and the ace of clubs. So there's no way, the only card that is lower is the jack, and we can win the jack. So there's no way for Declarer to win a trick in this hand. So we can see exactly what Declarer is going to be doing. Declarer is going to play the Ace of Clubs, then Declarer is going to play the Ace of Diamonds, the King of Diamonds, and then the Jack of Diamonds. So the Ace of Hearts is actually completely worthless to us because we won't be able to take a trick with it. So what we need to do is throw it away. I've shown you all four hands so you can really see how this works. When we throw away the Ace of Hearts, we are making the king of hearts good. But the thing is, is that Declarer can't take a trick with that card because Declarer can't lead from that hand. In fact, because we can see dummy, we know exactly what Declarer is going to do. They're going to play the ace of diamonds and then the king of diamonds. and then the jack of diamonds, which we are gonna win with the queen because we have carefully protected the queen. If we keep the heart, the ace of hearts, because it's an ace and we wanna keep it, we will end up throwing away a diamond. When we do that, we're gonna make declares jack good. We need two little diamonds to protect our queen from the ace and the king. Let me show you how that works. If we throw this card so that we can keep our pretty ace, now when Declarer plays the ace, we have to play the 10. And when Declarer plays the king, we have to play the queen. And this means that Declarer's jack is now good and Declarer is going to make this contract when we could have set them if we'd just thrown away our ace. Sometimes it's very hard to part with our big cards, but you have to look at the situation. A card's value is its ability to take a trick. The ace can't take a trick, so it has zero value. Whereas the queen has the ability to take a certain trick, and so we wanna protect the queen so that she can take that trick. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you.